Hi, here's May and welcome to the fourth video about drawing Genshin Impact characters as idols. If you haven't seen part 1, 2 and 3 yet, I'd recommend checking them out for this one. After having talked about three idol groups, let's move on to the final one. For this video series, I decided to talk about one of the idol groups I put several Genshin Impact characters into per video. This whole project, sorting the Genshin characters into idol groups, designing outfits for them and drawing them in illustrations was a lot of fun to me since I got to combine two of my biggest interests, idol anime and Genshin Impact with it. And now let's talk about the fourth and final idol group. The group would be called Shine but with an X for the I. The aesthetic can be described as a cute nostalgic one. They do pop music that is very upbeat and has a bright happy undertone. Some electronic vibes are included in the music they do as well. Here is a mood board I made for this group. Some aesthetics they would be inspired by include Yume, Kawaii, Dreamy, Pastel, Nostalgia Core, Magical Girls and Bubble Bujo. I drew two full body illustrations for each member of the idol group first. I'll include parts of the full screen recorded process later on, but for now I'm starting with the time lapse. The first character I'll talk about for this group will be Hazel. As always, if you want to, leave some guesses about the other characters I'll draw for this group in the comments. On to the poses. In one of them, Hazel was standing in kind of a three-quarter view. Both arms are stretched out and one of his legs lifted up. For the other pose, he's standing facing to the front. One of his arms is lifted up while the other is on his hip. Hazel is a pretty extroverted person, so I wanted his poses to be more open. I went with a tight t-shirt with a pocket on the right side on it as well as some wider pants. He also wears sneakers. The idle outfit for this group is made up of a tight short sleeve shirt with a jacket on one side of it on top. Then there are knee length pants with some crystals on them, longer socks as well as some bootleg shoes. Colors for the outfit here would include bright yellow for the half jacket, black for the shirt underneath, grey for the pants as well as blue for the crystals. Color wise I then went with a grey t-shirt, bright blue pants and black sneakers for the modern outfit. The accessoires I added in for Hazel's outfit would be for one a bag with some other accessoires attached around his hip. Other than that I added suspenders around his shirt and legs, gloves as well as some bracelets and a necklace. Drawing Hazel's shoe in the right perspective for the pose where he had one leg lifted up was quite difficult to me here. For the idol outfit, I at first changed up the necklace in front and instead drew a accessoire in on it at Hazel's left shoulder. I also added in some flowy belt parts since I thought this accessoire on the shoulder could be long in that way, so the outfit would include some parts that would move during movements. Other than that, some belts around Hazel's left arm and gloves were other accessoires I added for the idol outfit during the final adjustments and fixing stage, where I would also add in some accessoires to make the outfits more interesting. Next let's talk about the CG illustrations for Hazel. I made two for body illustrations as well as one CG illustration for every member I drew for this idol AU, inspired by what I saw in fandoms like Ensemble Stars or Gnosis Mike. I used Clip Studio's 3D models to come up with the poses and for Hazel here he has his right leg and his left arm lifted up high. His right arm is bent forward. I wanted Hazel to appear very expressive with this pose. I also made sure his hair would look like it's in motion for this. Adding in the flowy accessoires on the side helped with this as well. While drawing this this group's outfit I kind of made the pants look pretty tight, however I initially thought of them as more oversized. I really want to practice drawing more oversized clothes in the future. I want both some lighting from the right for Hazel's illustration, it's pretty brightly lit. While shading I also wanted to portray some of the anatomy of the upper body since the black shirt he's wearing would be skin tight. I adjusted some things and painted over parts after I had finished drawing the illustrations here for the first time. For Hazel, drawing his knee was a bigger struggle even though I had a 3D model I didn't like how the knee shape looked there. So I got references and adjusted it, something I adjusted for almost every character. Here also would include the expression. For Hazel, I changed up the mouth and made him close one of his eyes so he'd be winking, which to me fits to his personality. I also adjusted his eyebrows, the folds on his pants and painted in some hue variation using purple, blue and turquoise hues in the end. As an idol, Hazel would definitely make use of his charisma. He likes to be in the spotlight as the leader of this group and uses his confidence to make decisions and encourage the rest of the group. He'd also love to put on expressive performances. Next, let's talk about characters Hazel would remind me of. First, I mentioned Neo, Hiro, Ataru, Rinne, Mao, and Hiyori from Ensemble Stars. Then we have Nagi, Momo, and Torao from Idol 7, as well as Hikaru and Haruhi from B Project, and Hifumi, Ichiro, and Ramuda from Hypnosis Mike. The next character in this unit would be Chong Yun. For him, I drew a pose where he had his body turned to the front, one of his hands stretched forward, and the other one just down next to his body. For the other pose, he is standing in more of a three quarter view with both arms in front of his body. Chong Yun is a rather shy character, so I wanted his poses to portray this as well. I drew in a hoodie, sweatpants, and a jacket, as well as some sneakers for his modern outfit. His idol outfit pretty much has the same cut as for Hazel. What is different here, though, would be the colors. I went with blue pants instead of the grey ones, a blue shirt, and yellow 
Hazel crystals. The colors included are pretty much the same as for Hazel, they're just distributed differently and they added in a bright blue color. The colors in his modern outfit have a bright blue palette, white and blue and gray would be all colors I included there. As accessoires for Chong Yoon, I added in a small snowflake patch on his jacket and an arm and leg bracelet. Things I adjusted when drawing Chong Yoon here were for on his pants in the idol outfit, they were too tight at first. I also adjusted his legs in the modern outfit version a bit. At first, Chong Yoon also had short socks, I made them be longer in the end though. This gave the whole idol outfit a bit more contrast. Onto the idol CG for Chong Yoon. He had one hand stretched forward towards the viewer, while his other hand was held up in front of his face for the pose. His head and hips are at a different angle from the shoulders here. Adding in the flowy parts from the outfit in the back as I was drawing his outfit was interesting while drawing this group. Making them look like they're in a believable perspective was a bit difficult for me here. This was also the case for the smaller belt-like parts below his actual belt around his hips. I added in lighting from the right for Chong Yoon. While shading the skin of for example the black part of his tight shirt, I would often separate between the anatomy shading and shading from the light. For this I also use my sketch layer to see where parts of the anatomy would be. In case you're interested in hearing more about my process while drawing illustrations like the one here, I talk more about it in this one video. In the end, I adjusted the upper body since the blue shirt jacket seemed rather tight. I also adjusted the flowy parts in the back, folds on his clothes and his hand as well as his head. Chong Yoon is a very kind and wholesome person and I think as idol his fans would adore him for this. In events where there are a lot of people, he also seems like the person who gets a bit nervous. I think being an idol would challenge him but also help him to overcome some of his fears. I can imagine him having a gentle singing voice and helping the other members in the group whenever it's possible. He'd try to make everyone feel comfortable. Idol anime characters Chong Yoon would remind me of include Yuzuru, Mayoi, Hajime, Niki, Tsumugi, and Mika from Ensemble Stars, Tamaki, Mitsukuni, and Toma from Idol 7, Kazuna and Tomohisa from B Project, as well as Doppo, Jakurai, and Ichiro from Hypnosis Mike. The next member in this group is Albedo. If you want to, make guesses about other possible members in the comments. Albedo is a rather calm person, so I went with poses where he would not stretch out his hands like Hazel, for example. In one pose, he has both hands in front of his chest. It looks a bit like he's walking. For the other one, one hand is on the hip while the other one is stretched forward. I wanted Albedo's modern outfit to be more on the elegant side and drew in a colored button shirt, a belt, dress pants and formal shoes. I also added in these bands around the sleeves of his shirt since I saw them in a reference and I liked how this looked. However, I also made a version with a formal jacket which would cover up these sleeves. Let me know what you prefer in the comments, the version with or without the jacket. Albedo has the same color scheme as Hazel for his idol outfit. What's different from the previous members here though would be that he has long and not short oversized pants. The color scheme I used for Albedo's modern outfit is made up of black and white as well as brown and for the version with the jacket blue tones. Drawing this outfit was a bit of a throwback to me since I drew an outfit that was a bit similar for drawing Genshin characters with modern outfits before. I experimented a lot with possible accessoires to add for albedo. A bag around his upper body, an accessoire on his belt, a necklace and a ring are accessoires I went with in the end. Then I adjusted his jacket, arms and his hand for one pose since the fingers were too far apart there at first. Moving on to his CG illustration. This one was pretty different from all the ones I had done before since Albedo had his back turned towards the viewer here. Since I drew many illustrations for this project, I wanted to include a variety of angles and poses. That's why I also wanted to include one pose like this. Albedo has both his arms stretched out sideways and his head turned towards the viewer here. Since his pose was from the back, it allowed me to figure out how the flowy accessoires for the outfit would look from the back, which was nice. I also got to practice drawing pants from the back, which I'm not that good at since I don't draw people turned with back towards the viewer often, at least not for full illustrations. I do draw poses like these for my daily drawings of bodies, but there I don't add clothes. Also, drawing Arvido's hair was fun here, since it's longer in the back, I could add in some more movement for his pose, along with the flowy parts of the outfit. I decided to go for lighting from the right in the end, his back would mostly be in shadow this way. And finally, what I adjusted for Arvido, here we have the flowy accessoires, his pants as well as his face. Arvido is a rather quiet person, him and Chong Yoon would be similar in that way, however, at the same time, Arvido seems like he has a lot more confidence. He'd probably be okay with being around a lot of people, even if he wouldn't talk a lot. Most of his fans would admire him for his smartness. He'd help the group with making decisions that make the most sense. Since he likes to draw, I could also imagine him designing some products or handling the stage visual. As for characters that remind me of Abido, we have Ritsu, Makoto, Kaito, Himaru, Natsume and Ran from Ensemble Stars, Ten, Riku and Gaku from Idolish 7, Mikado and Yuduki from B Project, and finally Samatoki, Sayuta, and Ramuda from Hypnosis Mike. 
Let's move on to the next member, and here we have someone who you would probably guess would be in this group, since Chang Yong is in this idol group as well, it's Zing Shou. Zing Shou also is a rather reserved, calm person like Chang Yong and Albedo, which is something I paid attention to when drawing the poses for him once again. He has one hand at his chin and the other one on his hips for one of the poses, and the other one, he has one arm behind his back, his hand holding onto his other arm, which is stretched down. His feet are also turned inwards, this also was the case for one of Chang Yong's poses. Drawing poses in this way helps to make the character seem more cute to me. Zing Shou's modern outfit is made up of a oversized sweater tucked into his pants with a plaid pattern on them and a belt at the top. He also wears more formal shoes. The idol outfit for Zing Shou is the same as for Chong Yun. I find it nice that his hair and eye color have the same hue as for his idol outfit. Black and brown are the colors I went with in his modern outfit. I wanted the plaid pattern on his pants to include squares and different brightnesses. And a tight scarf around his upper body, a long necklace underneath, a ring and a hip accessoire would be the accessoires I added in for him here. I adjusted the pattern of Zing Shou's pants and the position of his elbow for the arm behind his back for the full body poses here. Now for Zing Shou's idol CD. Here I went with a pose where he would be viewed from the side, one of his hands stretched towards the viewer and the other one in front of his chest, his head is angled downwards and his body a bit twisted. As I was drawing him, figuring out the flowy outfit parts was interesting again. I went with lighting from the left for his illustration and when adjusting it, I painted over the parts and shirt folds as well as his arms and in the end I also adjusted his face. If this idol group shines would have a blog, I can imagine Zing Shou being the main writer. Zing Shou would probably also enjoy writing the songs for this idol group. I can imagine him and Chong Yun singing and dancing in a more elegant, gentle way, while Hazel, for example, would bring in more expressiveness and energy. Zing Shou's fans would probably enjoy his humor and his fascination with books and stories, and I can imagine Zing Shou teasing Chong Yun as an idol while they still are best friends, being really entertaining and cute. They both seem like they would take care of the shopping or outfits for the whole group together and maybe making next for some idol characters, Zing Shou is similar to in my opinion. Here we have Aichi, Tatsumi, Tomoya, Rei, Tsukasa and Shu from Ensemble Stars. Next would be Sogo, Iori and Minami from Idol Dish 7 as well as Onzai and Ryuji from B Project and Gentaro, Jakurai and Ichiro from Hypnosis Mike. The last member I'll talk about for this group would be Ether. And if you've been here since part 1, then you'll know that a slight spoiler for part 1 started with Dane's Sleeve and I'm ending with Ether for the characters I'm talking about. I found this pretty interesting since both of them have a significant role in the Genshin universe and Dane's Sleeve seems to know more about Ether's and Lumine's past. But let's get to the poses I drew Ether in. I went with one where he is standing in more of a front-on pose with both his arms lifted up. For the other pose, he would be standing sideways, one arm reaching forward and the other one lifted up in the back. Ether is pretty calm most of the time, but to me he also has more of a expressive side to him, especially because he's traveled a lot. That's why I drew a pose more similarly to Abido, Chang Yun and Zing Shou, as well as one more similar to Heizo. For Ether's modern outfit, I drew a slightly oversized t-shirt jacket tucked into oversized pants and boots. The idle outfit for Ether has the same cut and colors as for Albedo, long pants and a yellow shirt with gray pants and blue crystals. A one palette consisting of brown, gold and white tones is what I went with for his modern outfit. Accessoires in the modern outfit here include a bag, several bracelets, a necklace and accessoire at the hip as well as a leg band. I adjusted the arm for the pose where Ether was standing sideways, since the newer pose fit better to Ether to me. I also adjusted and painted over other parts, for example the pants folds or for the idle outfit. Here I saw that the pants weren't at the same length for both poses, so I made them longer in the front facing pose. Now for the final CD illustration. I wanted this to be really dynamic by having both of Ether's arms stretched out, his braid as well as the flowy parts of the outfit also add some movement. While I was pretty much settled on where I would want the flowy things to be right from the start, I tried out a lot of different options for the braid. I wanted it to not be too parallel to the arms or the body and fill up some space in between his arms. For Ether, I decided to go for lighting from the left. The front of his body was mostly in shadow this way. Finally, for adjustments in this illustration, I changed up the hand in front, painted over his hair, changed up his expression and added in hue variation here. Ether seems like a very practical person. Why can I imagine him taking care of any repairs or something like that? He also seems a bit like the person who knows most about electronics, along with maybe Albedo to me. Maybe him and Albedo would enjoy composing the music and taking care of the stage setup, while Hazel would take care of the dancing and getting them new work opportunities, and Chang Yun as well as Sing Shou would do the writing and take care of the outfits and household chores. Ether also seems a bit like a sunshine to me personality-wise. He's not as outgoing and expressive as Hazel, but generally I can see him having a positive vibe within the group and making some jokes as well. He seems like a smart, rather casual, down-to-earth person. 
Alright, and now I talk about characters Ether would remind me of. First we have Izumi, Aira, Soma, Kohaku, Hokuto, and Jun from Ensemble Stars. Next would be Yamato, Yuki, and Haruka from Idol 7. From B Project we'd have Nome and Miroku. And finally, Samatoki, Dice, and Jiro from Hypnosis Mag. For the background in this group, I wanted to go for a cuter aesthetic and it was also brighter than the previous ones. I was inspired by some cute stage backgrounds with stage railings and arcade-like machines in the background. You see I also included these plushy-like figurines and music boxes. I wanted the background to look rather playful. It was also contrasting a bit with the colors of the idol outfits since it was mostly pink, while the idol outfits had blue and yellow colors and I find pink, blue and yellow make up for a really nice cute color combination. Figuring out how to draw the stage here was kind of a struggle. I looked up a lot of references. I also went for a painterly style for the backgrounds, which was contrasting to the line art based characters. I often see this in CG illustrations as well. Now that we've talked about all the characters, let's move on to the idol groups where the dynamic would remind me of the dynamic of this idol group shine. We start off with ensemble stars. First I mention knights. Heizo and Leo are very similar. They have the same MBTI type. Zing Shou would fit to Tsukasa and Chongyun to Arashi. Even if she's more extroverted, I find both of them are very focused on helping others. And for Izumi and Ritsu, they fit to Albedo and Ether to me. If I had to sort them, I'd say Izumi would be like Ether and Albedo like Ritsu. What do you think? Does Izumi fit more to Ether or Albedo? Next would be Crazy B. Here, Rinna and Heizo are both pretty mischievous and entertaining. They remind me of each other. Niki would fit to Chongyun. Both are very caring characters. As for Himaru and Kohaku, they pretty much fit to the rest of the members. Zing Shou is kind of a mix between Kohaku and Himaru. Ether is more like Kohaku and Albedo like Himaru to me. I also had to think about to Wink as a group that fits to them, Aoi fits to Heizo or Zingshou, while Yuta is like either Chongyun or Albedo. From Idol 7, they also remind me of the group Reveil, with Momo being like Heizo and Yuki being like pretty much all the other members. But Tenro from Hypnosis Mag is the last group I talk about here. Jakurai is a lot like Zingshou or Albedo to me, while Hifumi would definitely fit to Heizo since he is a host. Doppo and Chongyun are also a lot like each other, both are hard workers and can be in Secure, Ether would either fit to him as well or Jakurai to me. Since I like Chongyun and Sing Show a lot, I would also mention a few more duos that remind me of these two. First from Idol 7, here we'd have Tamaki and Sobo. Sobo has the same MBTI type as Sing Show and they're pretty similar. They are both from a noble family and Tamaki and Chongyun both like cold desert, Chongyun ice cream and Tamaki pudding, and they have matching hair colors. In Enstars, from Alkaloid, Mayuri for Chongyun and Tatsumi for Sing Show. Then for Rabbits, Tomoya and Sing Show have the same personality type and are similar, while Hajime and Chongyun also have matching types and even hair colors. Tomoya and Hajime are also childhood friends, just like Zingsho and Chongyun. And finally, Shu from Valkyrie reminds me of Zingsho. The types are almost the same and Mika has the same personality type and reminds me of Chongyun. These two duos are actually some of my favorite things and I find it really interesting that they both are similar. Finally, here are idol groups. This group, Shine, reminds me of aesthetic and music-wise. From Ensemble Stars, we'd have Rebels, Switch, and Twink. From Idol 7, Idol 7. From B Project, Moons. From Moses Mike, Fling Posse from AA side Rising, from Tsukiyata or Razrock 6 Gravity, from Tsuki Pro, Sawara, from Paradox Life Visti or Akure, and finally I'm also including Act Addict Actors, where there are four groups based on the four seasons, and this group would remind me of the summer troupe. And with that, I've talked about all the Genshin Idol AU characters. I hope you enjoyed watching this little series about this project, and let me know your favorite units or characters from the ones I drew in the comments. You can also tell me about any of your favorite idol anime. Drawing the illustration for this project was a lot of fun. I would love to work on more projects related to idol characters as well as Genshin Impact in the future. I also want to make a video where I talk about all the preparation and how I drew the characters overall in the future. Thank you for watching this video, have a nice day and bye!